This is it, what? Fettuccine with the team, we gettin' lit, what? Got it rolled up, now who really tryna hit, one? Puff, puff, then we pass, then we pass, then we pass. We back, and we back, we back, we back. We back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Come on now. Welcome back. Back like I never left. And I know you never left. Uh, uh. Welcome back. Welcome uh, back. Uh, uh. Let me flip it to the Meg's version. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, Mace. Mm, all right, Mace. Pass the Mace. Get back to Cameron. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get we back, out here. Yeah. What's good, homie? You all right? We out here. We out here. We back. We You popping and locking? Crispy October. Dripping and dropping? We are dripping and dropping. Okay, the okay. Dripping stay dribbling. I like October. I like you know October, too. It's a nice month. I like the energy. Yeah. We got the Halloween costumes mm-hmm. almost ready to go. On deck, on dizzy. On deck. They coming, they coming around. We about, you to, know what I'm saying? we about to see the gods in the city. Finishing touches. Pretty much. You know what I'm saying? And we ready. Okay, and I okay. I hope they ready. I hope they ready. Cause it's your man Earth Tone. And your man the real peasy holding you down with the right dose of the highest no. Only the highest. Only the highest. This hmm. is episode seventy five on seventy five. You know what I'm saying? And we out here. Right, we still out here giving it up to them. Always, always, Q plus community in effect, live and well. Yes, sir. Um, and we gonna get right into it. You know, we like to bring it to the micro segments. We're gonna give you the micro segments today. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then, you know what I'm saying. You might not have seen them for a minute, but they are back. They're back. We're gonna give you a little bit of a needle drop situation Ooh. because there are definitely some. Hot joints, some heaters. I love you know the, this. Is one of my favorite micro segments for the real. I love the needle drop. We're doing it and we we, we spotlighting a few joints that hmm, we may not have had time to get into in the past, but we definitely have them on the gate off mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for sure. For sure, we're yes. gonna start with one an alum of the show, oh, Doja with an H. Uh oh, remember that Doja? Yep, yep, yep. She was on episode 33. Um, and she is back with a new song okay. called Living in My Head. You know what I'm saying? Kind mm. of a soulful record. Kind of reckoning with families. Like, she's going through some things. Mm. So, you know, I fuck with somebody that's like kind of getting it out there, using music as a tool to kind of help heal themselves. It's, it's a dope situation. Okay. Shout out to Doja with an H. You already know how that goes. So the next song, you might love this one. Mm-mm. Your girl, she making a debut here. Uh-oh. We just kind of like found out that she's definitely Q plus energy. Uh-oh. Ice Spice. Ooh. And I'm shaking my ass at the deli. Hey. She in her mood. Like, damn, she, she in her, her mood. mood. Like, damn, she in her mood. That's my she girl. I fuck Ice, with her. We fuck with Ice Spice. We're going to put her on there with Deli. That's definitely a hard song mm. off, like, the re-release. It's giving that, like, Jersey House bop. That it is definitely giving Jersey House. <laughs> for sure. Um, the album, the or the EP, and then the deluxe version is called, like, what? Like I like what? how she named it. Like, like what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I love that she named it that. All right. Oh, that's the name of the that's EP? That's the name of the I EP. Love it. Like, I love what? It. Yeah. I love it. And then the deluxe has Deli on there. So okay. shout out. Um, we're gonna talk, we're gonna bring it back to the other doja, mm. the one that, you know, we show a lot of love to here mm-hmm. at the Herbal Tea Podcast. Mm-hmm. Doja, Doja Cat. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So she has a new album out now. You already know it's called Scarlet. Yep. Y'all should definitely look into that mm-hmm. album. But when I was checking that album out, I was like, you know what? I want to hear some of her old shit. I want to know where that genius is where coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the origins of where that? She's been, she been doing her thing for a minute now since the Moo song. She had an album out during that era and then the Moo just kind of caught on. Is so Moo on that album? They put it on the deluxe version okay. of that album. Cause, you know, can't is it, it Moo or like a cow? No, it's Moo. Moo, Moo. That's, that's the, the name, name of the song. song. That's Moo. the name of the song. That's and crazy. she kind of goes in and, you know, she, she imitates it's all the songs. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, go check that out. But the song that I want us to pay attention to today, Morning Light, is from her first album, Amala. Mm. Amala is her, her government real first name. Um, and a lot of the music on there is very much what you expect from like a sexy Doja record, like slow beats, 
real sticky hooks. Mm. And she gives you the bars as well. Like she flows effortlessly between her singing and her rapping. And I think that's a skill that a lot of people want, but they don't necessarily yeah, have it. Yeah. So she's giving you a great example of that on that album. And my highlight is Morning Light. Morning Light, Light, Light. Right. Dope record. Mm. Check that out. Okay. Um, Isaiah Rashad. We're going to give some love to Isaiah Rashad. I don't know if we have before. Do you recall? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think I mean, we're, we're going to give some. He just, wasn't technically, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Right, yeah. but he was in the, he was in the streets he when was in the streets. we talked about that, you know, about the tape and all of that. But now that he's kind of like settled in and he's still doing his thing, mm-hmm. we're going to go back a little bit to some of his older material. Um what um what you said featuring another Q plus alum that we just reviewed, Do Dochi. Yep. And uh they I got this jam. This joint is pretty, pretty dope. And I love we love the video. We looked at the video kind of paying homage to Tupac's I get around mm-hmm. with the pool party step situation. Up, step, step up, step up. Right. And I definitely would have jumped in that pool if I was invited <laughs> to the video shoot because I'd have been right on top of Isaiah yeah. doing thirsty and all because my nigga, yo, mm-hmm. he kind of a snack and a half. Mm-hmm. Ain't he a little thick too? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He got the cute little nose yeah, ring. Right. He think he pop. He already think he pop. Yeah, I already think he pop. He could mm-hmm. get it. He could get it. He could mm-hmm. get it. He got the glasses too. The yep. the the little circle rim shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Isaiah Rashad with what you said. It's from I forgot the name of the album. Um I forgot the name of the album too. It's the second wrote, joint. It was like wrote, sunsets. Wrote it down. And it's like a it's like two words. Hold on, we're gonna find out. Something and something. I don't want to sunsets and orange rings. <laughs> It we're was gonna, like it was like we're gonna find out right now. Sailor, sailor moons and boat ships. Mm-hmm. It was something like that. Close, close. The house is burning. Oh, okay. I was on. That's that. I was on. It was close. It was, was you know. It was just college try. Good college try. Got tribe. you. Got you. Shout out. And the last song we're gonna do for uh, Needle Drop is from a new newer MC. Shout out to Baker. He was on the countdown. Mm. Dames. Okay. He had a record called Ben's Boy. Okay. You know what I'm I heard of him. Yeah, so he was on the countdown. I saw the video. I was like, oh, okay, the song is kind of bopping. It's kind of a, it's kind of a bop there. This is he's a singer, rapper, dancer from Atlanta by way of Jackson, Mississippi, hmm. and was featured in Billboard and was spotted at Glass inaugural Black Queer Creative Summit, their first annual. Dope. So I thought that was a pretty good, Dope. you know, that's a pretty good come up. Yeah, you know? I mean that's huge. So shout out to Dames and check out the song Ben's Boy and all the other tracks that we got on the needle drop and okay, that's what okay. we got for you for the nine nine and the three thousand love it we got some dope needle drops man for real. Some, it's a lot of good music going on out that's there that's where we at shout out to the q plus q plus community shining and thriving out there indeed you know indeed. what i'm saying a lot of content keeping it prolific keeping, keeping it, it coming keeping it going keeping the culture alive exactly exactly we love it well you know with that being said we're going to have another smoking session, session in, in the, the smoking, smoking section. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I always love this time. We haven't had one of these in a minute. It's minutes. been a little minute. It's been a little minute. Mm-hmm. It's been a little minute. So we're going to get right into it. We got something interesting today. Okay. Are banks in the weed business? You know, I always wanted to know that. You know what I'm saying? I really want to know. Because I feel like behind the scenes, they always have... I mean, technically, it's illegal. Because technic- we all know federally, it's yeah. still illegal yeah. to purchase, have, or sell marijuana mm-hmm. in the United States. Even though you got about 38 states that have some form of legal marijuana going on in their 38 state. 38 states? 38 states. So it's kind of crazy like how... Different that is, um, yeah. but yeah, still you could go to the feds for marijuana, and the banks they don't they don't mess with these weed businesses, so they don't allow them to have accounts. You still have to have a cash flow, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Most dispensaries only take cash. They'll still take like debit and credit cards, but I, I don't know how they finagle it. They're not going and dealing with the banks. They got to do like some prepaid type shit. Um, doing cryptocurrency or they money laundering and shit like that. I'd really be wondering like how. You're not. You can't say publicly that mm-hmm, you're in the business mm-hmm. with them, but you probably got to come up with like a storefront shit. business something. or something that's like a little. You know what I mean? It got to be something. Wash the money, launder it a little bit. Yeah. Like, all right, yeah, this is my little head shop business, right? Right. But I'm really in you the know what back. I mean? Exactly. They different. still trying to figure it out. They still trying to regulate it. But with that being said, 
there's a bill that's been cooking up for the last 10 years, mm-hmm. right? Behind, you know, the government closed doors. And if it's passed, it will open up a new avenue for these banks to do business with the marijuana industry, right? So the bill is called the Secure and Fair Enforcement Regulation Act. Um, or safer. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a bill that seeks to ensure that cannabis businesses or businesses that uh, deal with uh, cannabis uh, substances, um, they'll have access to these deposit accounts, insurance, and uh, financial services, which they currently don't have. If you think about it, it's crazy. The way they, you know, they legally passed that these dispensaries can operate in these states, but they can't get access to you know, the financial infrastructure to keep them, you know, going keep and thriving as a business. It's kind of crazy. It's backwards. Do they have to, like, you know, uh, do some kind of business, finance business with, with Canada since they kind of, like... You know, that's interesting. I'm sure that's one of the that resources of the... people use, one of the back channels, yeah. um, if they have access to it. But I'm not sure. I haven't really done any, you know, particular research on that. But that's an interesting point. Um, definitely something to look into. Um, for this bill, it had a breakthrough in 2019 um, when the House backers included a measure that would shield the bank accounts um, from messing with the gun shops and the oil companies and other businesses that the conservatives viewed as you know being in danger. So this all became like a, a little political chess piece mm-hmm. because the Democrats they want to push forward with the you know the letting the banks do business with the marijuana companies. And the Democrats, they're not really fucking with that. But at the same time, they're like, all right, we want to make sure we got clauses in there that's going to protect what we feel is our bread and butter, which is these guns and oil. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, what you fucking with the guns and oil. So they're like, all right, we'll do this if y'all put a close in there, making sure that these you know financial regulators don't come and try to shut down and, you know, shut down the account access or the flow that they currently have for the gun shops and oil. Mind you, they shutting it down for the marijuana, which, I mean, technically, ain't nobody ever OD off of marijuana. They're using it medically. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the guns and oil, man, which, you know, the oil is an endangerment to the environment. And the guns, of course, you know, kill people. But these shits, they can work with the banks. They're cool. You can sell, you can get bullets at Walmart. Um, but that's kind of how it goes down. So if this law was to pass, if this bill was to move through, which it hasn't moved through mm-hmm. and passed um, uh, to the floor of the Senate, they haven't moved it on. But uh, recently, the bill was enabled and passed. Um, it's passed up to the Senate. So now the Senate has the the job of looking at it, deciding whether they're going to actually make a decision and make it you know, law. Um, mm-hmm. So it's kind of historic. It's just f- the furthest the bill has reached um, as far as the, the political process um, since they've been cooking it up. All right. Um, it was looking grim for a minute, you know what I'm saying, until last year, uh, our own New York Senator Chuck Schumer, um, he decided that he was going to put his effort and energy behind it and, and try to bring it to fruition and give it one last push. Because they're saying if it don't happen now, then it's probably, you know, this is going to be the last last dish effort pretty much. Um, so hopefully, you know, we can get it done and see what it do. But that's going to be a big change in the whole industry. I mean... I'm surprised that the lawmakers haven't seen the economic benefit that would come from something like this. Like, it's really... It really surprises me how hard they're going to go for something that's already legal, but it's killing people versus something that helps people and can make a whole lot of money for yeah. everybody involved and is not really killing nobody, but it's a struggle to get that past. Politics. Politics it's in so America, It's so weird. Man. It's just weird. To it's me. crazy. And then now, it's like the way they just grabbing it and they're like, all right, we, we'll fuck with it if we get these protections and fire shit over here. Like, that's kind of how it works. It's always got to be like, the compromise. It's if always a tag, yeah, what you going to give me? Yeah, what have you done for me lately? Right, right. Um, but I mean, it's clearly <laughs> changing and all of the banks are kind of petitioning. Like, they with it. They kind of, they for the change. So. As they should be. They're going to make a ton of money from yeah. each transaction, bro. Yeah. Like, it. I don't know. Yeah. Am I missing something? It feels like two plus two equals four. I mean, you would think. (laughs) You would think. You would think. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. um, Wishful thinking. 
And we can, we trying to get something started, so let's let's figure that out. Yeah. What's gonna be the move? What's gonna be the move, huh? Hmm? What the hook gonna be? Mm-hmm. In the meantime, we just gonna, you know what I mean, use the access we got. Cause you know we get in New York at the boat day. Period. Period. You know what I'm saying? And I'm shaking my ass at the deli. Gra, gra, stop playing with them they corn. We gonna end it like we always like to. On a high note. This is it. What? Fettuccine with the team, we getting lit. What? Got it rolled up. Now who really trying to hit? One. Puff, puff, then we pass. Then we pass.